This is the man's world. Yeah. But he said, ain't nothing without a woman or girl, so bye. Y'all wouldn't even be here. Without a pussy. No, <laughs> but whatever. Whatever. What's going on, y'all? My name is Mark. And my name is Alexis. And this is our YouTube channel called the... Couples Corner. Well, today we're going to be talking about... It's men... Men are not as strong mentally as women. Mm -hmm. He keeps saying it wrong, so whatever. Anyway, women are, in fact, mentally stronger than men. So and much if best. you haven't noticed, today we are doing something special doing a mukbang we are doing we went to this place called the waffle buzz mm -hmm. and we're eating our waffle sandwiches fries, fries and fries the slider, slider and i got the mac and cheese which i already started eating. I ain't, I ain't gonna and it's, you know sandwich just try them out you know you know you know, you know. And we got the whole punch yeah. Yeah, cause it was, it was my idea to go there, go there today. All um, I did was send him a picture on Instagram, and he was like, "Let's go," and I was like, "Now," and he was like, "Yeah." I was I like, don't know. Okay. I was trying to play no games. Okay, but back to the topic at hand. Um, so, we so. forgot to tell him the fellow. Oh, you guys, sorry. Um, if you ain't already, if you're not already following us, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And also click that notification button so you'll get all the notifications when we post a video. And thank you so much for the support already. But back to the topic at hand. So the question is, are women mentally stronger than guys? I would say yeah. Because do you know all the shit we gotta deal with that niggas can never deal with? And they just tell us to suck it up. Are you a black woman you strong? That's bullshit. Like, really? No. And don't say no smart shit. You yeah, the smart? You don't want me to say something smart? Okay, fine. Well, oh. You want us to be dumb. Okay. Just say something. But, uh, She has a case for that. But it comes to certain things because we put a lot of like I said, us as black men, we we have to be mentally strong. As far as even though we're not as much as we're not as strong as them, but we're strong, but we're just not strong girls. Well, see, y'all have to be mentally strong. As far as we have a video, um, men and emotions, showing their emotions. Go check that out. From way back in the gap. But yeah, like we're like men are like really taught to not show emotion. They're taught. But how is that the same thing as being mentally strong? You know what I'm saying as far as just because you don't show emotion, yeah, don't mean you don't have one. True. Still have. Them. True. But we. Yeah, we. Eat? Gonna eat? Okay. I don't want to eat with my mouth full. Supposed to eat and talk. That's the thing. Okay. So, <laughs> we, so if you see me chewing the stuff in my mouth. Yeah. Pause. That's what a Pause. Is. That's what a mukbang is. Pause that. Or you can take it in between bites. Talk in between bites. No. Bro. Anyways, continue. Bro. You know, a lot of stuff that we, we, us black men, we do a lot of stuff to our women. And it's like the whole cheating. Do you want to taste my mac and cheese? Okay. It's good, y'all. So like you know we do we we put our black women through a lot of stuff um, mentally, emotionally, and a lot of time physically, and I, I don't understand why. Um, but I do you know I do appreciate my black queens and stuff like that. Um, but you yeah you you know what now I think of it I think you do have a case as far as that. You know, but always. All right. This some good sauce, y'all. Yeah. Are you gonna elaborate, or you just? Yeah. You, <laughs> you have more to say about it? I mean, 
You supposed to be talking too? I don't gotta say. I'm anything. talking. I'm. I'm just. Think I'm, about all the women in your life. There's only like really like. There's only really like three people that I really like. I someone I look up to in a way, you know. Say no, four. We'll talk about them. Are they strong? Well, I mean, come on. It's a video. Well, I can't. <laughs> Okay, so I spoke to my, my mom. I believe she's mentally strong because the stories that um, she tells me from her childhood now and her being able to just push her pain to the side and keep going, which is a really tough thing to do. Um, my sister, she know, I I appreciate her too. I'm not gonna say her name, but you know, I appreciate her. She's she's been through some stuff as well. Um, and then you know this lady right here that um that I'm with. Oh me? You know, she, <laughs> you know I, I you know I'm I'm appreciative of her strength, and I I remind her that whenever she's like down. I remember remind her that you've been through worse. I ain't gonna lie, like. So it's like I appreciate. I really want her to get her flowers while she's still here as well. One day, y'all, he randomly was just like Alexis, babe, you so strong, you don't even realize it. And I was like, where is coming from? And he was like, no, well, I just want to tell you that. And it's like crazy because. He must have knew in that moment that I need to hear that. Because it's like, you know, like he said, going through stuff in life. People put so much on us. And it's like, they just be like, oh, you a black woman. You got it. We like, we got to take we gotta take this whole of our man, our children. Man or woman, I'm sorry. Our children. Everything. Our job. Our boss. Whether we got to worry about that nigga. Fucking with us. I mean, it's a lot, and I'm only 25, so I don't even know what's gonna be happening for the future. Shit. Um, you know, my best friend. We shot her out a couple of videos ago. Um, she's I I I have admiration for all of them. Um. I try to duplicate that strength at times. I can't do it. As far as when something hits me, I it usually stops me. But having them in my corner and just for them to basically just say, push through it, keep going, which is the hardest thing to do because in life you, you are dealt with obstacles. And it's either you're gonna sit down or you're gonna get up and fight and these women are Definitely. they go they they run right through the walls of anything that tries to stop them mm -hmm. so you know so I yeah cause at first I was like I was looking down like all the stuff that women gotta go through and I'm like and she already named it early in the video, so it's like, all right, yeah, that list is not like we're strong, but postpartum so depression. Stronger. I forgot that postpartum depression for all my mothers out there, menopause, cycles, all this. Shit. We gotta go through all this shit. Oh damn! Hold up. Oh, this look good. This look good, everybody. Ooh. This look good. Oh, love that chicken from Waffle Bus. Mm. Okay. It's the same sauce. That the one I gave you. That's, sir, that's a sir, but it's like. It's a different sauce. Oh. 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 Yeah, this is slapping right now. Don't get me wrong. Guys got to go through stuff too. But. What I'm saying is. I feel like women take a look, like, we don't break down, like, how do I explain it? 
we just built we built to just last. I mean I don't know. It's just something about a woman, specifically black women. No shade to no other women. But I'm 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 respect my black queens because we just be doing everything. Now sometimes there's a difference between being messy strong and stupid. If you're enduring something that you know you're better than. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because people be confused in loyalty with stupidity all the time. And that shit is... Like, if you got a, a dude... <coughs> if he cheats... And you stay? And you bring him... And you like, you know what? I love you. I want to make this work. But then you still throwing stones? Then who looks stupid? And that's why I always say... If you know you gotta go, never forgive it. You, spoke, you should leave them. And they and people always like, well, Alexis, you give up on things fast. No, bitch, I'm just not finna be with a nigga for years while he cheat on me. Oh, the kids, fuck that. It's called co-parenting. I don't got time. I'm not finna stay with no nigga. Why he go fuck every bitch and give me something? Like I don't have time. I don't have time. I'm sorry. So. Vice versa. Guys, if a woman cheating on you, leave that hoe. <laughs> Please. She I mean, I'm girlfriend. sorry. She's not a whore. But you get what I'm saying. Leave the bitch. And now I'm saying bitch. <laughs> leave the unstable creature. Is that better? Yes, it is. She said I didn't say it. So. Unstable creature. But anyways. Um, I mean, you know, ask me some stuff. Like, what, what's right. When it comes to like, how did you develop the will to just face things head on? I'm kind of full right now. Um, like, how young did you realize? Oh, look at this. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Except for tomato, but that's neither here or there. Future man, tomato. Um, he eats ketchup, so he eats spicy ketchup. It's still tomato. You eat tomato sauce on your spaghetti. Anyway. Um, how did that work? Say it again. When did you realize you were strong? You're strong physically, but mentally strong. He like. gets on my nerves with that shit. I'm not this strong. He's still stronger than me. He pulled up a, a whole credit card. She, I'm said, not gonna forget that. She keeps telling the same story. Because yes. like you're not finna sit up here and act like I'm just she hulking this motherfucker. But anyway. Um, probably with the situation with my mom. Um, so those of you who don't know, I'm gonna just briefly summarize. Uh, if you want to. You know, something happened with me and my mom. And it's like your mom is supposed to be a person. So it's like when you get betrayed by your mom. And you have to go through all that. Then, just like you ain't got no choice but to be strong. Cause it's like that's your mom, the person you never thought would give up on you. Yeah. So, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. But yes. I just knew. It's like I just been through a lot in such a short age. I mean, a young age. Short. No pun intended. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like God, he just, he just had me. You know, he just kept me. I was there. Prayed about it. Prayed about stuff. I just be like, you can make it. You're going to make it. Because when she told me what happened, and like I said, I'm not going into it. I was like, a lot of people would have been like, Resentful. Bye. Like never talk to them again. Like not talk to them again, and then they would have, they could have spiraled out of control. She made, she remained herself. She didn't change her core. She's still loving and giving. It's just something like that. It's just now I'm just like really cautious. 
Se ci lascia sempre giù la mano. Eh? Che mano. Non puoi. Ah! Oh, oh. Sì, sì, sì. Sì, that's love. Cause I don't show my food with nobody. That's me mentally strong right there. That's love. This. That is love. But anyway. So. Um, why do you feel like men can't handle things that women can? Like, why do you feel like men lose it? Cause so usually if we lost it, we didn't have it in for a while. That's but, what but why do you feel that. like? Why do you feel like men lose it? Like sometimes, like soon, like what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Like you know, especially like y'all lose self esteem really quick too. Like especially like if you lose a job or if you you know why? Why is that? Me, I'm just kind of like oh I lost a job, get my ass back up, start applying for more. Dude, I lost a job. Oh woe is me, and I just don't know. You know like why is that? Because we, we are driven so much by ego. Right. Oh. Um, confidence, being able to um, provide. And when you're not able to provide, it's just like, damn, I ain't shit. That's that's basically, it's basically a but blow. But who's telling y'all that? Like, it's not, but it's, I've never told anybody we, that. We do that before. to ourselves. Oh. No, and then some women do do that shit. Some women ain't shit. And they be like, oh, nigga, you got to bring home this, da, 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 but... My thing is, bitch, why you can't work and bring home something? I mean, I get it, but y'all stuck in the 1940s. Bitches don't, men don't do that shit no more. Look, a woman can work, a man can work. I'm not finna sit up here and rely on him to pay all the bills. Because at the end of the day, if you ain't working or you barely working, at the end of the day, who you think gonna be set when y'all get divorced? Unless you take him for everything he have. But other than that, you ain't work for shit. So at that point, he deserve all the money. Because <laughs> he deserves to keep. And I know I'm going to get flack for that, but I don't care. Because my thing is, what you not going to do, if you didn't help a person get to where they are, you don't deserve anything. That's how I feel. I'm just saying. Like, I get it. Y'all married. Y'all become one person. Get that. But if y'all married... They're not helping you at all. For sure. It's no point of be like, oh, it's it's yours, it's mine. No, bitch. Did you help me? Or did you kick me when I was down? You fucking kicked me when I was down. So, I don't know what to tell you no more at that point. And if you ever get to <laughs> argument, you're going to be like, you're in my house. You're wearing my clothes. You're wearing my jewelry that I bought for you. And you don't ever want something like that to be said to you. Period. Period. <laughs> You know, especially if you like money, you don't want. Well, basically, what I'm just trying to say is that you don't ever want something held over your head, mm-hmm. and that would hurt ego. So, because if it was the other way around, and the woman was like, "Well, you could get out though," stuff like that, like you gonna you gonna feel like shit. You gonna be like. We get we get depressed quickly when it comes to stuff like that, especially something that's a real. But I don't know. It just seems like what they have in their DNA, they just able to push through. And I can ask all I can, but it's, I can ask all I want, but it's just like I guess it's something that's natural to them. Mm-hmm. It's not something that it's it can be taught with experience, but it seems like a lot of them are just built like that that they can just go through everything and then still keep a smile on their face like nothing's wrong hmm. accuracy. which is accuracy which is scary i mean it's, i ain't gonna mope about the shit all the time i know but when yeah. it's like you don't want to have you don't want to run to a woman that's having like when, what happened with jen jackson and the um why did i get married too where she finally was at her point and she was in a really dark space. Because I'm that telling you, if a woman scary. break down, usually it's been a while. It's been like a long time, and she held that shit in for a while because yeah, it's like boom, like 
I'm done. I'm exploding. I'm a ticking time bomb. And it's, it exploded now, pretty much. So. So. Like, you know, it's. It's amazing. And I just want to say that I love you. So. Um, I love you too. <laughs> you have any other question that you have like because I'm I, mean, I represent the the male side so it's I like mean, where you do, do you want to ask me a question oh how come when y'all cheat y'all expect us to forgive y'all but if we even talk to a dude at work oh we a hoe we a bitch we a that's another thing y'all not strong in if a woman cheated on you all the time you be like what are you you bitch you hoe da 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 but a nigga can cheat and a woman forgive you and you like still do it cause you're like oh she don't forgive me well, it was a two-sided thing because one, he cheated. That's the first charge. Second charge, you forgive him. So, you got to live with that consequence that you forgave well, My thing person. is, why can't you give the same courtesy if she forgave you? That's the question. Exactly. How can I? I, I don't even <laughs> know how to say it. And why she okay. finna say some mean shit, like, because that's him. He means what? And this is this will probably lead into another su- another su- subject or something like that. But when something is ours, we don't want nobody else to touch. To but how, why do you think we feel? We don't want you giving our community dick. True. Anyways, that had no kind of weight. What he just said. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, we, we can't handle it. We can't handle it. We just it. know how to push through. And y'all asses fake. Y'all asses. This whole double standard bullshit. Y'all gotta get over that shit. Cheating is not okay either way around. So, my thing is, don't get mad if we do the same shit y'all do. That's all I'm saying. Because y'all bitches be trying to play us. Not him. Y'all but bitches. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, y'all niggas nowadays are bitches. It ain't two genders no more. And gen- and bitch is not even a gender word no more. Bitch can be man or woman. That's what I'm trying to tell people. If you a bitch, you a bitch. And my definition of bitch is a person who weak, a person who ain't shit, a person who do participates in fuckery. That's the word. You a bitch. Like, if you a bitch-ass nigga, you a fuck-ass nigga. You ain't shit. That's that's what bitch is to me. You a little bitch, you a little punk, you a little punk-ass bitch. That's what it is. You ain't shit. It was a continuous thing, or what do you mean? What? Like, when does somebody get that label? If it's somebody that constantly does the same thing, or somebody that does... A punk-ass bitch? Or yeah. like a bitch-ass nigga? It's different. <laughs> if they continue it doing it once, then you can label them. As far to as me, being it's, that. Okay, so... If you do something one time, you done some whole-ass, bitch-ass shit, but you're not a bitch-ass nigga yet. Yeah, that's what Until I'm saying. Until you do it a couple times. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Because if you do something once and you learn from it, you just did some whole ass shit so at the time. So you just had some whole-ass... You just had a whole-ass moment. It was some bitch-assness at the time. And then, after that... Okay. <laughs> um, I'll say this. I had a question in my head, but I I totally this food too good right now. Sorry, y'all. We j- we really just be coming off the dome. So if you get if you get like some random silence, it's because we thinking or we apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry. Silence. I'm sorry, you guys. Because we just ha- we just had to have this as. Authentic as possible. Yes, we like not, they're sitting across from us and we're having a conversation pretty much, at the table. That's pretty basically much. this experience what we're doing right now. You know, pretty much we still new. It's only been, you know, nine months, so we getting into the hang of things. So thank you for the patience. Yeah. It will get better over time. Okay, definitely. Thank you for sticking around. And if you forgot, please make sure you like, <laughs> comment, subscribe, and share. <laughs> Uh, just wanted to throw that in there. Um, just in case you didn't do it at the beginning when we asked you, 
another chance to do it. Um, and tell your show. friends to do it too. Yeah, just if, because sharing is caring. You know, just challenge yourself. Be like, you know Unless you're trying to get my food, then no. Only he can get my food. food. And my sister. And my immediate, immediate, immediate family that I've talked to on a regular basis. Like, yeah. But, well, you know what? Even them, I'm just kind of like, do you really, did you really want my food? Or you just see that I got it and you want See, I know I got this thing. I, this is off topic, y'all, but it's this thing. I just don't like sharing food. I, I, and that's another thing too. Like I feel like when we have, if we when we have children, I'm not gonna want to share my food with them. And I know that's kind of fucked up, but I'm gonna make sure they have all the food that they can have possible, so they can't say, "Mommy, can I have your food?" What I'm probably gonna do is just buy them the same thing I have, so then they can have it. But that's just like women. They they have the same thing as the nigga take the food off his plate. I don't understand. I've never understood that. Me, why? I am going why to have my own, and you can have your own. And that's just how it's supposed to go. But you know. And you're so romantic. You're so caring. You had the same amount of time I had when I ordered my food. Why do that? Because we didn't know your food was going to be good. So you jumping on that Ben Wayne right no, now? This is what me and Mark do. What? Basically, he gets one thing and I get something else and we try each other's food. Yeah. That's what we do. Because I just feel like. We can both know what it tastes like. When you're in a healthy like, relationship, see, I just got him my mac and cheese because I was like, babe, do you want to taste my mac and cheese? Because he like a mac and cheese connoisseur or whatever you want to call it. No. We both food connoisseurs, in my opinion. I feel like if you want to know a real opinion, well, no, not him because he don't eat a lot of stuff. But me, I'm a little more open. He don't eat seafood, so eh. He don't eat fruit either, so eh. But me, I'm a little more open when it comes to food. So, Escalexis. Ask Lex, ask Dreadhead Lex, because Lex will hook you up with the tea. And it's going to be sweet. And you're going to need some water afterwards because it's sweet. So, yeah. <laughs> so, basically, you're saying yeah. your tea is so sweet, it gives you diabetes. It's if you like water. McDonald's. Their tea is really sweet. Or homemade tea where you just put a whole bunch of sugar in it and you don't know when to stop it. Just, and you just kind of like let it keep going. You know, like back in the day when y'all made Kool-Aid and y'all just kept pouring it and pouring it and it with no specific recipe and you was just like, oh, I think it's good. I think it's good now. No, a little bit more. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> um, Is there anything else you want to add though? Because we just kind of been rambling, y'all. So. Oh, <laughs> uh, not much. I would have had more if I didn't think about it, because I like to, I like to think before I talk. Mm. So like when I when I picked the subject, I was I had stuff in my head I wanted to say, but the more I thought about it, while we said enough for it, I was like, I ain't gonna have nothing to say. <laughs> so I was like, okay, you got it, you yeah, I got it, you got it, and I got it. But anyway, back to what we was talking about, uh, I guess a couple videos ago. If you have anything that you want us to talk about, please comment below. Follow us on all our social medias. DM us on our social medias. We are so open to any topic you have, as long as it ain't no crazy shit. Um, we'll try. We'll try to the best of our abilities to elaborate on it. If you don't hear us talk about it, it's because um, we're trying to elaborate on it. Yeah. Um, so, um, you know, just thank you again for always, always helping us and listening to us and, you know, getting li listening to our thoughts out there. You know, um, we really appreciate everybody. We really appreciate you. Um, please, 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 like he said, again, like, comment, share, and subscribe and hit that notification button. Please, Make please. sure you hit that notification button, baby. Trying to get them subscribers up, trying to get them views up, all of that, baby. So please, please, please don't forget about us. Watch us grow. Watch us grow. Shout out to all the black business owners, black, uh, black excellence, black entrepreneurs, all of that, baby. Shout out, baby. Yeah, you said everything I was going to say, so I'm not going to repeat what you just said. Right. But, thank you again for watching. I said, we apologize for it being all over the place. Right. Um, like I said, this is just, we're at the table and we're just talking. Right. We're just shooting the breeze. Just, you know, give us your response down below. 
Um, with all that said, I'd like to say thank you for um, rocking with us again on another video. And thank you. Peace. Peace.